everybody, it's Lapis Lori and welcome to Mod Sauce. Um, this is going to be my first episode. I've been playing for a little bit of time, uh, just trying to learn more about the mod itself so that I don't feel like such a noob, although I still do compared to some of the guys on the server. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's give a little tour of what we've gotten done so far. This is the spider base. This is what I've built so far. It's just a giant black spider here on Mod Sauce. There's a lot going on here. We have started with growth craft, which is uh, wine and ale. We'll get into that on some different episodes. We've started some Batania, which is, uh, it's part of, it's a natural kind of, I don't know, enchantment system where you can get armor and do some cool stuff with it. Um, we have some basic power going on out here with the windmills, and there's that guy. Let's get rid of him. This is a replicator. They will kill you. What did I get? Ooh, another spawn replicator egg. Cool. And glowstone. Um, we have, this is our, with mechanism, there's all kinds of cool things that you can do. This is like our, our uh, build stuff system, I guess, our power. But we've got these cool windmills. Uh, Iron Face uh, and I have kind of teamed up on this base partners in crime, as you might say. And he's been teaching me quite a bit about the mods and things. We've got a basic tree farm system over here that is constantly just, it's overachieving, so it's full, like all the time. And it's set so that it doesn't just keep going, um, because you know, we've got a lot of stuff already. So that's like a basic tour of the newer part of the base. Let's put these logs away that I had here and the dirt, because I've got a bunch of it. Got deep storage for the dirt, because there's just tons of it everywhere. And now see, if I double click things, it doesn't always work. Let's try to put that back. Just do it the old fashioned way. One clicky clicky at a time. But I wanted to get with you guys today before I get too much further along in this because I feel like I've just kind of like left you guys behind with mod sauce and it's hard to start back in someplace without saying, oh look at all the things, like it's already done. So we don't we don't want to do that. We want you guys to kind of stick with us here. Um, what can I do? I'm just going to put that in there and that for now. Uh, in this mod pack, there's such a thing called Pam's Growth Craft which is uh, Harvest Craft, I'm sorry, which is a food module, and then we have um, Miraculture, which is another one I want to get into. In fact, I'll probably get into that first because it seems like it's not as complicated as some of the other things that are in here. Of course, there's all kinds of like building blocks to use, which of course, I, you know, I'm going to be taking advantage of. Um, we've, got, we've got some cool things on the job board that we're working on. Uh, Iron Face and I sometimes are on different schedules, but sometimes we're on together, so maybe you'll see him in some of my videos, which will be cool. So what I want to get started with today, I think, is the mineral culture. Let's go check that out. We'll take an elevator down. Let's go straight down again. No. Um, here is the, the inner workings of the start of the base. We have these lovely bookshelves right here. Let's click it. And here's the one we want. Miraculture, a sea witch's guide. This tells us what you can do with some of the things that you have. Sea magic involves the crafting, working, and enchanting of jewelry. So I'm kind of all about jewelry. I'm down with that. Uh, various enchants are unique to jewelry. You can find instructions on how to craft the jewelry and how to enchant it as well. Two ways to which jewelry can be put on. You can either craft yourself a mirror by pressing the enchant key. There, however, is only one way to take it off, so you will need to use the mirror to do so. So we need to make this mirror. Basic mirror can be used to put on, off, take off your jewelry. Um, only allow you to enchant at level... Oh, portable and channel, but only allows you to enchant at level 1, 3, or 5. It has 100 uses. Right click to open the interface. Mirrors are better when enchanting pearls versus an enchanting table. So cool. So let's do this. We need 6 iron and... What is that, a steel? Maybe it's just iron. It is. I hope that's just iron. We'll have to look and see. It doesn't really say. Um, so let's, let's see if we can get that made. I know we've got glass panes. Here's one. And here's some iron. Is that it? Maybe you need steel. No. Eh. 
Okay, so let's look at, up the recipe for uh, basic mirror. The mirror, right here. Mana mirror, mirror, mirror culture, that's what we want. Iron, aluminum. Oh, so we need aluminum. Okay, so we might have that. Let's look. Iron. Uh, aluminum is looking a little thin. Let's see if we can find some over here. Impar silver. Aluminum. Look, I'm gonna have a mirror. Um, yay! I've been saying um a lot. I'm gonna try to stop that. Oh, we needed one iron, that's right. One iron. There we go. Yay, we have our mirror. Okay, so with this, let's see if we can... What can we do with this? Um, right click it. Look, all the things. Okay, cool. So we have the mirror. Let's read else, what else we can do with that. So we've crafted that. The magic mirror is one step up from the basic mirror, as it uses an enchanting table and three storage bookshelves to craft it. It allows you to access the full 30 levels of portable enchanting. On crafting, the magic mirror is set to enchant from level 1 to 3. Shift right clicking the magic mirror will cause the levels to increase by 3 times, so after the first click, it will enchant from level 4 to 6. This continues up. Celestial mirror, ever so magnificent celestial mirror, allows you to enchant from level 30 to 60. Oh good lord. So, we'll have to look at that. I think I could probably craft one of these. I don't know, maybe. I think I have enough leather to do that. So this says, you have to have three storage bookshelves. So you gotta have a chest. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll worry about that in a little bit, because that's gonna be deeper crafting. Maybe on our next episode of this, we can get into it. So, for now, let's look at what we can do with this. So we have all these things that we can do. Jewelry. Let's make one piece of jewelry. Different colors of pearls affect various different things. Durability, all these things. The binding I talk of is different depending on the piece of jewelry you're making. Iron, bracelet, necklace. Uh, binding is what holds your piece of jewelry together. It determines how strong-willed it is when attempting to place an enchanted pearl on it. Have effect on durability, creation, and max enchantments. Um, Jewelry is not simply crafted, it must be crafted and then worked. You will need a blacksmith's hammer and anvil. Oh, okay. First you craft the item, then you must place it on the blacksmith's anvil. Uh, this process to work it until it's ready to use. The pearl and binding you use both will affect the cost. Repair. Uh, so here's some simple things. So we have some stuff here. Um, you can replace it with any other color. So let's see if we can make this. Let's do... Like a ring. We want to try and do that. And then we can work on what else around it here. Um, so let's let's look up a recipe for a ring and see what comes up. That's Batania. Let's here's some of these things. Let's made with iron ingots. What else can we do? Gold. Do we want a gold ring? The one ring made with fire. One ring to rule them all. <laughs> can you even make it? I don't think you can. So maybe we have to work all these things with the blacksmith's anvil and hammer. Oh, do we have to make it first? Brick construction block with mirror culture. Nether brick is cooked in a vat. Or a magma crucible. I think I have a magma crucible. Oh my goodness, what is all this? Hopefully I don't have to do all this. Burnt brick. So I wonder if we just take any kind of brick and cook it. I wonder if it has to be in a vat. Ah, this could be more complicated by the minute. So let's try and make the ring first. Uh, let's do a blue one, because blue's awesome. And if I recall, it was iron like this and a pearl. There it is, unworked blue pearl ring. 
So that's cool. So let's see if we can find out how to make those bricks, and I'll be right back. Okay. Um, when I last left you, I had to figure out how to make this vat. Let me show you. You just need copper, and you need um, them in a horseshoe shape, just like you would for a cauldron, uh, except you make it out of copper. And then you get a vat. Now, to bake the bricks, you actually um, have to have lava. You have to put lava inside the vat, and then you just take your nether bricks or your clay bricks, and you just keep right-clicking until they're all in there. And then you're going to have to refill the lava quite a bit. So I have 12 of these burnt bricks now. Um, and also, I'm wondering what I did with my actual... Sea Witch book. Let's see if it's in here. Um, no, I don't see it. Maybe I put it in here. I think maybe I did. So let's read about that and see what we have to do to make this anvil if it's even listed for a recipe. Um, I do not see it. So let's escape out of that. Let's go over here and see what we have to do for this anvil. Let's look. We need a blacksmith's anvil. There it is. You need three of these, another brick, and three regular burnt bricks. Um, I don't know that I have enough for that. Let's look. No. Does it take all this to do that? How am I going to make a brick of that if it won't take it? Okay, so let's look at this. Let's look at burnt bricks and see if we can find a recipe for that. Um, no. Let's look at burnt. It just comes up easier. Burnt quartz. Burnt brick. Uh, what kind of one of the recipes for that? Oh, oh, you need iron bars. So you only need four of them and iron bars. So that's not going to be as bad to do. And then we're going to need another brick itself. Um, which means a little bit of cooking. So let's find ourselves a regular furnace. Is there one left? Um, no. But we'll get on that here in just a second. Three, one, and three bricks. Okay? So we have those. We have that. And we have three bricks. Yay, an anvil. So there's more things we can do, but let's do this for now. <coughs> Yay. And we were going to make a ring, and I have it here. And so th to do this, you right-click it, and then you take your anvil, and you just left-click it forever. And there's a little animation that shows you what you've done. And there's different stages, and it takes a long time to do. So if you right-click it again, you get it back in your inventory, and it tells you it's only 2% worked after all that time. So you'll be here for a while. So once this is done, I'll come back to you and we'll look at my ring. Or maybe just... Oh! Ooh. I have a ring! I'm gonna show you my ring. Look! It's my ring! Now I'm going to enchant it. Um, you need the mirror. Put that in there. So we'll put the mirror and then we'll put the ring here. Now what else do we need? Ooh. Let's do five. it does for me. Did it do anything? This is not the best option. With your enchanted pearls, you can place them in a crafting grid with your piece of jewelry. Um. Oh, wait. Need extra pearl. So, one pearl with jewelry. So, there's the pearl. There's the jewelry. There's that. Well, for whatever reason, 
that only enchanted the pearl, so we're going to have to rebuild the ring with a new pearl. We'll use gold this time. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. We'll make a gold ring with that. And now, let's do it. I have to just do it again. Instead of just continuously hitting, let's just left click a bunch and see what we get. Ta da! Look, fall resistance! As soon as it gets unglitched, we'll look at it. Where'd it go? here somewhere. Where'd it go? Come to me. Come to me, my enchanted ring. It's not on me, is it? No. No. Pick it up. There's my ring. It must have just been underneath. So there it is. We have a fall resistant ring. Now to apply this, I think we actually put it somewhere here, don't we? Hmm. We'll have to figure out how to wear our jewelry next. Okay, until next time, when I tell you how to wear your jewelry, if you guys know how to wear the jewelry, let me know. Okay? I don't think you just wear it, like, in your hand. You've got to put it someplace. And I can't think of how to wear it. I don't see a spot for it. Unless it's here. No. Is it here? It's the extra stuff for that. That's not really what it's for. Mm. Alright. Let me know, guys. See you next time.